And there he is, Baro Katia has reappeared. He can of course be found on the Cronai Relay, which is on Saturn. So let's just jump in and take a look and see what he has brought this week. There is the Dog Days Protea display. I thought they would have done this much earlier than now, to be fair. But it has finally actually been added to the game. Hate the way that can't be thanked from inside the menus. There is the left EOS Prime shoulder plate, the right EOS Prime shoulder plate, the EOS Prime chest. Okay, it just looks weird on Severgoth. EOS Prime chest plate, there is the left EOS Prime spur and the right EOS Prime spur. Yes, I am aware of the, the colouring and what it looks like. No, I'm never going to remark on it. There is the Parasist Zebra skin. This is just a skin, not an actual weapon. Whereas the Prisma Dual Cleavers are, and they are a fairly quick and fairly effective melee weapon. There is the Maradetron. Could be more useful than you think in the coming future. But for now, I think I'll still go with the Prisma Dual Cleavers. There is the Corrupted Bombard Spectre Blueprint. It is not a reusable blueprint. So you're going to need many of them. Which does make it quite expensive. I kind of wish this was a reusable one. There is the Katia Atmos Diadem. The Kavat Sentinel Mask. The Kavat Sentinel Tail. The Kavat Sentinel Wings. The tail doesn't look too bad. A little bit weird. And I do like the mask, but it doesn't really look Kavat based, in my opinion. There is the Prisma Uru Sandana. I love this thing just because it's the one that the snowmen wear. There is the Melee Dangly, which now we can't see. Mesa's Immortal Skin. The Prisma Lotus Sigil. Prime Smite Orokan, 1.55 times damage to the Orokan for melee. There is the Cult Spear Skin. Come on, rotate quicker. Rotate quicker. Rotate quicker. Doesn't look too bad, but it is a Spear Skin. Sadly. Ivora in Action Glyph. It's still weird that they look like teeth on her face when you actually see it blown up like that. Huh. Clothoric planter. Ah, okay, it's a plant in the middle. I was trying to figure out what that actually was. Landing craft decoration, same as Carisha's dinnerware. Landing craft decoration, or, I keep getting wrong for saying this, can also be dojo decorations, domazone decorations, wherever you actually want to put this. Because that would actually go really well in the Dormer Zone, which has a kitchen in it. There is Mame, 120% slash for pistol. Prime Quick Draw, 88% reload speed for pistol. Sands of Anaurus Blueprint, the Fear Path of Femora. And of course, if you come to see him with Anaurus Prime equipped, then the Barrow Void Signal will appear. You can get one per week. You do a mission defending Barrow, and at the end of it, have a chance of him giving you a piece of the Elixir armor set which does not look too bad and it is probably better to do it that way than it is to actually buy the armor pieces because the armor pieces don't actually turn up that often in my opinion shouldn't turn up at all and they should be kind of locked behind that because then people can actually do them and that's how you would get it it would be like a badge of honor wearing that armor he will of course be around for two days so he will not leave Nothing until sunday like if you he has something that you want, you have until then to get on, don't leave it too late, but if you can't, don't worry, don't panic, everything he brings will cycle back through, and with that we'll leave this off, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.